No, no. Um, it can be. Um, um, oh, I need to kill the music real quick. Um, I'll probably have it. I'm probably gonna be a little long winded about this, but <clears throat> back in my early 20s, um, I was, I was addicted to what were called mini things. They're basically amphetamine tablets. Um, I went through probably a whole bottle of them in one day. A whole bottle back then contained a hundred of them. Um, I was, for all intents and purposes, homeless. I basically lived in my car, and when I could afford it, I uh, slept in a hotel. Um, I worked as a grocery store stock clerk, which doesn't make much money, so spent most of my time living in my car. Um, did that for probably about six months. So eventually, so eventually, uh, my, one of my uh, co-workers, um, he offered to let me live with him in his apartment. So, which I did, I slept on the floor or the couch, whichever. And then eventually, he eventually, um, he moved back to Louisiana, and I, he, they set it up so that I could just take over the rent payments, and you know, while he's gone. So, so after that, the pill popping pretty much went away, but I, eventually. It got replaced with me just constantly eating because, you know, stopped popping the pills and I got my appetite back and just <laughs> constant picking out. Um, but eventually, um, I probably weighed as much as 260 pounds and didn't, but you know, I'm kind of, kind of addicted to food now. So basically, I started at 260. Over the span of many years, I managed to get my weight down to about 210 pounds. I mean, I'm fast forwarding to probably about a year and a half, two years ago. To about 210. And then finally I just... I just embarked on a big weight loss campaign. Managing in probably about... I'd say about a couple years ago. About a year's time I managed to lose an additional 60 pounds. In one year getting it down to 150. Well... During that time, now that I now that I achieved my goal, the weight gradually started ballooning back up. Eventually, I was up to 165, so I had I had to do something. I had to do something to get the weight back down. So I watched a I watched a guy named Jocko Willink. He's a retired Navy SEAL. Um, I watched his podcast, and he said that uh, one of the one of his big secrets of staying in shape is fasting. But as you would, when you look at the guy, the guy is freaking massive, just big, huge muscles and big, thick neck and everything. I would never suspect him to actually do any kind of fasting. So, had that in the back of my mind, something to consider. So, uh, it was um, and it was uh, probably about a month, two months ago. Uh, I stepped on the scale, and just getting pissed off at myself. Damn it, 165 buck. Finally, the bubble just burst right then and there. I was going to sit down, start my stream, do what I usually do, start eating and drinking during it. Uh, at that moment, I just said, fuck it. None whatsoever. Um, I totally fasted all the way through that one day. Uh, and at the end of it all, realizing, hey, I could do this. So, so on my nights off, on my nights off, I, it's either a 12-hour or a 22-hour, whichever. But yeah, on my nights off, I try to get some kind of fasting going. But um, I only do it on my nights off. I don't do it during my work nights. Uh, but uh, as far as religion goes, some people do it. Um, a lot of religious people do it, and they probably do it for a lot longer than I do. Like, they'll do it several days in a row. It's um, uh, my opinion on that. It, it's down to down to the epiphanies. It's. I mean, hang on. I'm thinking. One of the what are the reasons? One of the reasons I was so fat was because of fat shamers, or the, the general culture. You know, it's mostly doom and gloom. You know, if you don't lose the weight, you're gonna get diabetes, and then you're gonna die. Or 
You're gonna get heart disease. Better do something about that over that gun of yours. That gun is going to kill you. Your arteries are gonna clog up, and then one day you're in. And they'll show you. They'll, they'll probably show you video footage in like some TV show. You know, of you of some guy overweight. Guy. <laughs> You know, it eventually dies on the spot because of clogged arteries, you know. I mean, not the way, really not the best way to motivate somebody into losing weight. You know, so I mean that, I mean that kept me fat. And, then you, and as I said a few moments ago, all the fat shamers. You know, when's the baby due? Or, goddamn man, or some girl, goddamn man, your boobs are bigger than mine. You know, that kind of thing. You know, and I'm, you know, and I don't, I didn't want to give the pricks the satisfaction. You know, I don't want to give those kind of people any reason at all to pat themselves on the back. Yeah, I lit a fire under his ass. Yeah, he lost that weight, man. I'm proud of you now. Uh-uh. So, that was one of the reasons I stayed fat. So, the the general pop culture, I guess the stigma, it that that kept me fat. I mean, I had to find my own reasons for, uh, for wanting to lose the weight. So, but yeah, I had... If you if you ever had that kind of motivation to lose weight, I'd like to think that you just you found it within yourself, or you found your own reason and not because of pop because of pop culture pressure. I guess be the phrase I'm looking for. Been there, been there, but it wasn't it wasn't a steady drop with me. I mean, it was basically it was basically a basically a sawtooth a sawtooth like like a, a, on a graph like a sawtooth you know a lot of a lot of ups and downs it wasn't no it wasn't no single-minded determination to bullshit or anything like that because like i said before just to get from uh 260 down to 210 uh that probably took not good at math right now, but uh, it probably took about 20 years just to get my weight from 260 to 210. 